how to make a video presentation. I'm assuming you've already got a presentation that you need to present, but you don't just want to send off that PDF file. You want to turn it into a video presentation. So the first step is to head over to veed.io. So you can either Google veed, which is V-E-E-D, and then click on the first link. If not, as usual, the link's going to be in the description down below. So if you don't already have an account, I highly suggest you create one. There is a free version of veed. So once you're on veed, the first step is to create a new project. Now we're taken into the editor, and here we actually want to record our presentation. So if I click on record, Record. I'm then given five different options and I can record my screen and my webcam, my webcam, my screen, just audio. And then here we have slides and webcam. So I'm going to go ahead and choose slides and webcam. Now, as you can see on my second webcam right here, we actually have the live feed of me basically giving my presentation. And then here on the right, I actually need to upload my slides. So I click on upload slides, select my presentation and click open. And as you can see now, I've got this nice little layout of me staring directly at the webcam with the presentation by my side. And the best thing is, is if I just hit the right arrow key, it goes through my presentation. So basically I can be talking about it. I can quickly glance at the screen. I can say, okay, blah, 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 the newly acquired markets, blah, 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 better, more relevant content. Um, and this isn't my presentation, by the way, this is just one I stole from online. Um, I'm just gonna skip to the last slide, the most important part. So everything I've just done right now wasn't actually recorded. So I can go through, do the same thing and click record. But the magic of it is that once I've actually finished recording, I'm gonna show you in just a second. So as you can see, we're going to go through our slides. I can pause the recording if I need to take a break, if I need to think of something just like that. I can then resume it and then it goes ahead. And then if I want to, I can completely scrap it. I've also got this little teleprompter if I want to give myself some notes or a reminder. But once I've actually finished recording my presentation, I just click stop and then Veed automatically compiles my presentation into this awesome, lovely video. And if I made any mistakes throughout the entire video, I can just go through and edit them out of my video presentation. So let's just say I take too long at the beginning or I don't want this first slide. What I can do is I can just click and drag to trim it out just like so. I can cut out a part from the middle. I can cut out, let's just say, these couple of seconds right here, right click, delete and cut out. I can also go through and add some text. So if I wanted specific titles, for a part of my presentation. I can also add subtitles to my presentation. So if I click on the subtitle tab in the left toolbar, click on auto subtitle, select the language, click start. And now this process can take anywhere between a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on the length of your video presentation. But once it's done, Veed will automatically transcribe all of the audio from your presentation into text and turn that text into subtitles. So as we can see right here, we now have these lovely subtitles. And then I might think they're a bit too big, so I can go through to the Styles tab, change the font size. I can then click and drag them down, just like so. I can add a lot more. I can also go through and add some background music. I could add some images. I could add some more video to this. But once I'm happy with my video presentation and I finally finish making it, recording it, and editing my presentation, all I have to do is click on Export in the top right and then click on Export once again. V then begins to render our presentation. And once it's finished rendering, we actually have three options. We can choose to directly share the presentation through a link. So I just click on the Share button right here. And as you can see, I can just copy link. I can share it straight to social media or I can embed it somewhere, let's say on my website. And as you can see, if I go back to share, we can also send it straight to someone's email. But if I just want to download it to my computer, all I have to do is click on the download button and boom, I've now got my presentation downloaded on my computer. And that is how to make a video presentation. Thanks for watching.